All right, good morning. Uh, it's Wednesday morning. I'm gonna hit another thrift store today and see what I can find. And I'll do a haul video afterwards and then we'll go from there. All right, see y'all in a bit. Man type stuff. Man type stuff. A dash camera, I think. Oh. A dash camera. A bunch of charger boxes. Alright, so I'm back home. Uh, I only went to the one thrift store. They get the uh, there was only one in the direction I was going in today. They get a truck in once a week, so they uh, they got a good bit of stuff. It usually takes about an hour to unload the truck, so they get there about nine. It was about nine thirty before we got there today, and they had it unloaded about ten ish. People go through the boxes as they're unloading it. Um, I didn't get that much stuff. I got a handful of things though. I paid five dollars for everything I got today. Let's start off with this. I got this mainly because I thought my wife would want it. It's a little swan, uh, and its wings open up. Uh, I don't see any markings on it. Oh yeah, it says Japan right there on the wing. Might actually be worth something. Uh, just thought it was cool. The neck's a little loose. Well, the metal part's a little loose, but it's still attached. It's just like a little trinket thing. Thought it was pretty cool looking. And then I also got this other swan. And it also says Japan. You can't barely, I can't barely make it out even off the camera but it's a music box but the music box is locked up and this is supposed to hinge right here but it's broken so it's probably junk I probably shouldn't have grabbed it um, it's kind of just one of those things I probably should have left it for somebody else but I'll give it a look over see if I can at least get the music box to work if not um, we'll see uh, I got this little antenna uh, I got it just so uh, I can use it for testing. Some older receivers take an antenna and they don't always have one. So I'll just use this. So that's just to test things with pretty much. So I got a box for that kind of thing right here. Um, another tape gun. I the one, my tape gun that I like to use, I broke this plastic piece off. So I grabbed this one just as a backup because I have I have like three of them already, but you can never have too many tape guns. That's a pretty solid metal one. It looks it looks like it's pretty good shape. Oh, I also got this. I grabbed this Bible. It's really old looking, and somebody had signed it in the front. I'm trying to mess it up. You can see that. October 6th, 1912. I don't know if it's that old. I really haven't looked at it. I figured I'd throw it in there. They really don't charge a lot for Bibles. and does It just says Holy Bible on it. It doesn't really say a whole lot about what it is. The Holy Bible containing the Old and New Testaments. 
uh, Oxford printed at the University Press, London, Henry Froud, I don't know. There's that if you want to look at it. I don't know if it's really worth anything. But that was cool. It's one of the oldest ones I've found, I think. So I uh, grabbed this. It's silver plated, Leonard brand. And it says Italy. I don't know if you can see that or not. Italy's really small. That's how where it says silver plated. So it's a candle snuffer. But thought it was cool. Yeah, I really didn't get a whole lot of good stuff today. Um, I grabbed this thing. And the only reason I grabbed this thing is because it says. I don't know if it's ever going to focus. 925 sterling silver. Yeah. Handmade. Mexico, Texas, the world. Libertad. Handmade sterling silver 925. Mary Hudson. Guadalajara, Dallas. So, yeah. It's last little piece of scrap silver at the very least. I'll add it to my collection of odd and silver pieces. I um, also got this thing. I thought this was kind of cool. It's a little racing cart jockey thing. Um, don't really know what that metal is. It's not it's not magnetic. And it has a YK right there on the bottom. And I found that it's inside the horse's leg. It says made in occupied Japan. It's really hard to see. But, and then it also says New York on his back. That almost looks like copper. A little shield on his back. But, it's pretty old. Probably close to antique. But, I thought it was pretty cool. That might actually be worth something. And then I also got this. I don't know how you say that. I don't know if it's Umco or Um Company. I don't know. It's an old tackle box. And it is full of old fly lures. They all look used mostly. They look like they're pretty old though. I used to have a fly pole a while back. I don't really... Never really messed with it a whole lot. I fished with it a few times, but there's not a whole lot of good places around here that I know of. That's the only one that's in a package, and the package looks like it's seen better days. And it's just a bunch of odd and flies. So they look store-bought, as far as I can tell. And some of them are kind of stuck together. So I'm not sure how much these are be actually be worth. I don't know if the box is worth anything. It's a really cool box, though. I mean, it opens on this side for those. And then you flip it over, and it's got another side over here. I did look in this envelope. There's some more fishing line in there. So they kept their spare fishing line. There's some better looking ones over here. They do look used though, so I don't know. I might lot all them up. That was cork, but the top's missing. I might lot all these up and see if they do anything. I don't know if there's a market for used ones or not. But I thought they were pretty cool. That looks like a frog, but somebody put a skirt on it. I don't know. I guess we'll see. I don't really see. I don't know a whole lot about these older fly lures. I don't see any markings or names or anything on them. I don't know if they even did that back then. But I thought that was pretty cool though. That's got a little loop, like handle thing on the side. And I got this thing Radio Shack. Weather alert 200 channel weather radio scanner. And I didn't buy it for the weather radio, I bought it because it's a scanner. And I've, I've had good luck with scanners before. And it says category number 2424. I think that's the number you look up, if I'm not mistaken. 2424. I don't know if it's going to focus. But yeah, I plugged it in before I left there, made sure it worked and everything. It came on. I actually got the weather channel or whatever on it to come on <clears throat> so everything everything's working on it so that'll be a few dollars and that is everything that's all i got today uh 
not bad for five dollars. The it's about seven or eight minutes from my house, so it wasn't too much of a trip to go there and just to see what they had today. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that is everything. Uh, hope you're liking the videos with the GoPro a little better. I'll try to get my production of them down a little bit better. And that's everything. All right, thank y'all for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.